Hey everybody, you're watching the Green Dream Project and today Jessica is going to show us how to make some seed bombs. How do we make some seed bombs y'all? Let's see, what are seed bombs? Seed bombs? We don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> seed bombs are pretty much clay balls with seeds in them. What? what? Get out of here. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's an ancient technique that's used to plant seeds without disrupting the soil, which is pretty cool. And it's something that was popularized by Masanobu Fukuoka in Japan. Uh, he was, he practiced and promoted this method of natural farming uh, with no tilling. Yeah, he was the leader of uh, natural gardening in the East. And he came up with do nothing, do nothing farming, which is a little misleading. It's, uh, it's not quite do nothing, but basically it's uh, not doing any unnecessary work. Basically, it's only doing what you need to do. Yeah, and working with nature to do that and do things for you instead of putting in that extra time and effort. And so if you're not familiar with uh, Masanobu Fukuoka, you can check out his books like One Straw Revolution and uh, learn more about that. Definitely. I just got done reading One Straw Revolution for the second time and it's just an amazing book. Talks a little bit talks a little bit about the um, the ins and outs of natural farming, but really it's just sort of like the philosophy behind it's uh, sort of Masanobu's philosophy behind natural farming. So he kind of brought back this technique of using seed bombs or seed balls and popularized that. He called them, I think, clay dumplings, but. Um, Mm -mm -mm. Sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so why would you want to make these things? Uh, well, like I said, it's a way of sowing seeds without disrupting the soil. Make this ball, you can just throw it out onto a field or some soil somewhere and let nature do the rest. Um, you know, you don't have to till, you don't have to dig up the soil at all and which can disrupt the soil health and destroy that soil life that ecosystem going on in there plus it's just fun get to get your hands in there get all dirty making little balls and then just chuck them <laughs> chuck them where you want something to grow bam growth right there bam Right, I'm done. <laughs> so the clay is going to help protect the seeds, you know, from uh, things eating them and such. You can mix in compost and other nutrients in there that'll help nourish the seed. So when it the rains come, when it gets that water, and it's the right time, the water will penetrate the clay and the seeds will germinate in there, get the, the nutrients right in there, and give it a good start. All right, so let's make some seed bombs. Let's make some seed bombs, yo. Is that a gang sign? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Pete knows. Is that a gang sign if I do that? No, it's horror. Don't do that. <laughs> So a seed ball, or a seed bomb, is basically a little ball of clay with some seeds in it. So, truth in advertising. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so what exactly goes into making a seed bomb? Let's go over our ingredients here. Basically, you're going to want five parts clay to three parts compost and one part seed mix. I would recommend taking 
your dry ingredients, some dry clay, compost and seeds, mixing them together first. And for the clay, you may want to sift it and screen out any rocks or clumps in there. It'll make it easier to work with and it may hold together, it may hold together better. Same goes with your compost. Uh, sift out big chunks and uh, the more biologically active your compost is the better it's going to be for your seeds to grow. It's going to help inoculate them and give them access to more nutrients. I'm going to need some seeds. Uh, any mix of your choice is great. A lot of people like doing wildflowers. That's a popular one uh, because the wildflowers take a little longer to germinate. So this can be a useful method to just get them out there and get them going. Uh, what I'm doing here, just some different seeds that I happen to have, um, kind of what are usually considered weeds but I got um, some dandelions, wild lettuce, mallow, and sow thistle. And then you're gonna need some water, some moisture in your mixture, and so that you can form it into the, the balls. There's also some optional ingredients you can put in. You may wanna put in some kind of inoculant. Uh, maybe it's just live, rich, native soil. Um, or some mycorrhizae. Here we have, here we have our mix of mycorrhizae in here. We're gonna add that. Another thing you can put in there is some kind of pest deterrent. Make sure it's a natural thing. Uh, you can use mints, things in the allium family. I have some cayenne pepper. You can use chili powder or something like that. And it might help deter insects or other pests rodents or things that might want to try to eat the seeds. Of course, the clay is going to act as kind of a protectant for the seeds, but that's an optional thing for you. Another optional thing is uh, some sort of fiber, like uh, a paper pulp or finely cut straw. You could even use some kind of cotton or wool. Um, some people use rice hulls. Just something that uh, is useful, especially if you are going to be dropping these balls from a height or, you know, you're chucking them into a field or something and they need to be able to stay together. That fiber will give it more tensile strength. It's also good if, you know, your, maybe your clay content isn't so great that it's going to hold together and that will just give it a little more strength. What we're going to do is mix our dry ingredients together, add some water, get that all mixed, and then form that into balls. Another way you can do this is, uh, if you have a tub like this, make your mix and just jostle it around until it starts clumping and making little roundish kind of lumps just depends on how you want to do it, how many you're making. It might be easier one way or another. I think we're going to make ours by hand, rolling by, by hand. So let's get started and make some seed bombs. Seed bombs. So let's get five scoops. It's already slightly pre-moistened. Mm -hmm. Three scoops of compost. It's gonna run around in circles.
weird because he, he wants to keep running in a circle. Usually they start attacking like if he's hurt. He's gonna be some espas to see the balls, you know what I mean? <laughs> I would just add enough water just to be able to form a good wall that's not gonna crumble or be mush. I think we're kind of lucky out here with uh, being able to make our seed balls because we have a fairly high clay content in our soil. Eh? Yep. So it's gonna stick together pretty well. Looks like little meatballs that you're making. Balls might look a little crumblier than hair balls. Squeeze it together. Like a <laughs> <laughs> if you're not going to use these seed balls immediately, I would recommend doing this on a warm, sunny day when they can dry out quickly, uh, just so the seeds don't start sprouting and then they dry up and die. And Oh, that'd be sad. Yeah. Some of these might be cool if you want to do a little gorilla gardening and just start throwing seed balls in uh, areas where you think maybe there should be a little bit more vegetation. <laughs> you get a tree. You get a tree. You get a tree. Plant your seed bones pretty much anywhere you want to plant these seeds. Uh, it's probably best on bare soil. It'll be the easiest for them to get started, but um, you know you can just throw them out and see what happens. I guess you could throw them into a field or into your garden. I guess you could grow them in pots too, um, and just wait for the rains to come. Or you can plant them like we're doing now around the wet season when they'll get the most moisture and they'll get germinating right away. We are choosing to put these in our mulch basin. I'm just going to kind of toss them in the low portion and just see what happens. And that, that part of the basin should get moisture most of the time. So it'll be cool to see what happens. So here we go. So that was just a little information we thought we'd throw out there on seed bombs. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe because you gotta see what happens with these things. Hopefully, hopefully we start growing something. And leave a comment below. Let us know you stopped by. Say hi. <laughs> Where can they follow us at? Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's right. All the important ones. <laughs> All right. Thanks, ever. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks. Bye. There's a hawk on our post. Tough to see at this thing, but uh, if you were here, this would look really cool. <laughs>